Over the next few minutes, you're going to learn how to set up your commissions module. And a couple of really quick things to point out before we do get started. The first is with this commission module, you're going to be able to generate commission disbursement authorizations right out of your paperless pipeline account. Now a disbursement authorization is, you might call it a commission demand, but it's basically a document that looks like this that you will send over to the title or escrow instructing on how to disperse commissions. So you'll be able to generate these right out of pipeline. So one of the first things that we're going to do here is configure this form so that it conforms to your company's verbiage and you can set up the form so that it uh, fits your needs. So the first thing you want to do is in your pipeline account you're going to head over to the admin page and what's cool about it is you can configure this form at a location level. So you'll head over to manage locations and then you'll click the gear icon next to the office location that you want to set up the, um, the form for. So you go to CDA settings and I've already set this one up so you can get a quick uh, snapshot of what that looks like. And really you can customize how the form works for you here. The things you'll want to uh, address are whether your company um, instructs escrow to pay commissions direct to the agent or if you, your company collects all the commission and then cuts a check to the agent directly. Same thing for referrers. Next thing you'll want to do is for this office location um, you'll want to get a signature and that can be a JPEG or a PNG file but basically whoever is responsible for looking at reviewing and signing CDAs you're going to upload their signature that way the system will automatically add it to CDAs on your behalf and so the last couple of things you'll do on this page is um, again you're going to customize the form with the CDA signer's name CDA sign signer signature text and then of course the office location information and contact info and then finally, you can uh, customize the form so that it, it contains your company's specific verbiage. And so you can, um, in the CDA instructions fields here, you can put in your company's specific verbiage that you wanted to add to that form. And of course, on an individual CDA, when you're doing this within a transaction, you can edit and or update this text. So that's it for setting up your CDA settings and you'll want to do that again for each office location. You can do that from the manage locations page. Other couple things you want to be able to do is since the system allows you to generate CDAs and also um, secondly generate reports out of the system is you'll want to head over to the financials section while you're on the admin page and click on agent fees. Now here on the agent fees page you can set up different fee types that might be deducted from an agent's commission. That can be things like transaction fee, transaction coordination, errors and omission. Um, we're going to delete that one. But uh, you can set up your different fees amount, amount uh, types and the amount is an optional field. So if it varies by transaction you can leave that blank and you can enter it within the transaction when you're generating your commission disbursement authorization. So that's setting up fees. Last couple of things that you'll want to do to set the, uh, the module up for yourself is you'll want to head over to the Manage Users page. A couple of things you can do is you can see you can set up agent commission splits within the system. In order to do that, if you have a large uh, number of agents, what you can also do is you can download a user list and just add a column to that spreadsheet that says commission split and indicate the commission split that each agent is currently on. And we can get that odd added for you automatically. Just send it over to help at paperlesspipeline.com and we can upload it automatically. So you don't have to enter each value for each agent one by one. But basically now there's a commission agent commission split percentage field and you can indicate the value of the uh, agent's current commission split and you can always come back to this page and edit if the agent's commission split changes. The last thing you can do is you can give certain users access to reports as well as the ability to generate commission disbursement authorizations on your company's behalf. And so if we go to our, for example, our downtown office here, 
um, we could give Shelly, our staff person here, the ability to um, create commission disbursement authorizations for this office location. And if we wanted to, we could give her access to reports for this office location as well. Those are the basic setup steps as far as getting started with the commission uh, module. If you have any questions, feel free to email. Um, you can send your request to ramu at paperlesspipeline.com. Happy getting started.